In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the WiseNet Wave server on a Linux machine running Ubuntu Linux 18.04. To get started in Linux, we're going to first open up the Files application and we're going to browse to my download folder. I've already used the Firefox browser and I've downloaded the Wave client and the Wave server from the wavevms.com website. So this is the latest version of the software. I'm then going to use the terminal application. Now there's different ways to do it in Linux. There are ways that you can right click and choose open with software install, but I like to do it command line to show you what you need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a command called sudo, which stands for super user do sudo space apt advanced package tool and we're going to do update and that's going to ask me for my password to put in my password so I'm an administrator and that's going to go out to the internet and make sure all of the packages all the software on this Linux machine is um, updated and ready to go that way I don't have to worry about it taking too long during the installation if something else needs an update old software or anything like that and it says all packages are up to date. If there were packages that needed to be updated, you would do sudo apt space upgrade, but we're good to go. And I need to change directories to my download folder. And now you'll see I do ls, there are my two files. So I'm gonna first install the Wave server. The command is sudo space apt space install period forward slash and then the wave server and the, the version number. And again, just start typing the first few letters, wave s, uh, and then hit tab to complete that. And you have to do period forward slash. That tells it it's talking about the current folder. It's going to go through and tells you that it needs to download a couple pieces of software. Uh, it's going to install three new packages. It needs to download. Um, 194 kilobytes, it's going to use 67 megabytes of space for those files. And when everything's all done, uh, all the software, including the Wave server and the other packages, uh, it's going to use up 253 megabytes of disk space. So we tell it yes to go ahead and do that. It's now going and downloading the additional software that it needs from the internet. And then it's going to go and configure them. And there's your progress bar. The software is being installed. Uh, it may pop up asking you to accept the end user license agreement. You would just hit enter, hit select OK on the keyboard. And now it's starting up the Wave services. And we are just about done. And now we are all set. And then the next step would be to use the Wave client on this machine or a different machine and to configure uh, this server, setting up our password and configuration options for the first time. And there we go. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.